assalamu alaikum students i hope you are doing well today we are going to start transformation the learning outcomes are to understand three basic transformations and to reflect 2d shapes in a given line so three three basic transformations are translation reflection and rotation reflection is a mirror image across a specified line of reflection whereas rotation is turning of a shape it is a change in orientation translation is the movement or sliding of a shape here you can see that the triangle is being rotated or turned here the rotation is anti clockwise here you can see the movement of the triangle abc to the right hand side this transformation is translation Here triangle ABC is reflecting over y axis. A bar B bar C bar is the image of the triangle ABC. In today's lesson we will focus on reflection in detail. When we look in a mirror we see our mirror image but we are looking at our mirror image where everything is opposite. If we have some writing on our shirt it will be backward. What do we know about reflection? Reflection is a type of transformation where a shape is flipped over to create a mirror image. There is no change in size or shape. Actually it happens in all three transformations. There is no change in size or shape in translation, in reflection and in rotation. Please focus that whenever a point, line or figure is reflected, there is a line of reflection which is sometimes referred to as the axis of reflection or the mirror line. in order to understand reflection we need to be familiar with some common lines of reflection x axis is a horizontal line which passes through the origin y axis is a vertical line which passes through the origin the vertical line equation x is equals to k the horizontal line equation y is equals to k y is equals to x and y is equals to negative x we will try reflection with all of these lines of reflection in order to deduce some rules of reflection Now let us have a look that how a 2D shape is reflected over a given line of reflection. Here the line of reflection is y is equals to k. That is a horizontal line passing through the point k. In this k, in this case, k is negative one. So the line of reflection is y is equals to negative one. This red horizontal line passing through negative one is the line of reflection. Whenever a shape is reflected each set of the corresponding must be the same distance from the line of reflection. So we will count how far each point is from the line of reflection. Point A is 1 2 2 units away. So we will count 2 units on the other hand side of the line of reflection 1 and 2. So this is A bar. Point B is again 2 units away from the line of reflection. Let's count 2 units on the other hand side 1 and 2. So this is point B bar. C is one, two, three, four, and five units away from the line of reflection. So C bar will be one, two, three, four, five over here. So let's join these points to have the image of the triangle ABC. So this red triangle is the image of this blue triangle ABC, and the line of reflection is y is equals to negative one. Now let's try to reflect the same triangle using the line of reflection x-axis. This horizontal line passing through the origin is the line of reflection. So we will count how far point A is from the line of reflection. One unit away. so this will be a bar point p is again one unit away from the line of reflection so one unit on the other hand side this will be b bar point c is 1 2 3 4 units away from the line of reflection so on the other hand side 1 2 3 4 over here will be c bar so let's join these points to get the triangle a bar b bar c bar Now this red triangle is the reflection of triangle ABC over 
x-axis. Let's compare the coordinates of these two triangles. If we compare the coordinates of the image with the coordinates of the pre-image, we notice that there is no change in the values of x-coordinate 1, 5, 3, 1, 5, 3. Whereas the values of the did. one has become negative 1, one has become negative 1 and 4 has become negative 1. So we conclude that whenever the reflection is done over x-axis, the x-coordinates values remain the same whereas the y-coordinate values are negated. Now we will try reflection over the y-axis. This horizontal line which is passing through the origin is the line of reflection. We will adopt the same method. Point A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units away from the line of reflection. So A bar should also be 5 units away from the line of reflection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same we will do with B and C points. Now we have A bar, B bar, C bar. If we compare the coordinates of these two triangles, we can easily notice that the values of x coordinates have been negated. That is negative 5 has become 5, negative 5 has become 5 and negative 1 has become 5. 1. Whereas there is no change in the values of y coordinate. Now let's try reflection over y is equals to x. First we will graph y is equals to x line. This diagonal line, this red diagonal line which is passing through the origin is y is equals to x which is will be the line of reflection. It is a diagonal line where every x value gets the same y value. So y is equal to x will be this red diagonal line passing through the origin. Point A is on the line of reflection so it will not be changed. Point B, let's see how far it is from the line of reflection. 1, 2, 3, 4 units away. So we will count 4 units on the other hand side of the line of reflection. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This will be B bar. Point C is 1 unit away from the line of reflection. So 1 unit on the other hand side we will count downwards. This will be C bar. Let's join these, line, uh, these points to get the triangle A bar B bar C bar which will be the image of the triangle ABC. So let's see what will happen to the coordinates. Let's compare the coordinates. Reflection over y is equals to x. Now let's compare the coordinates. We notice that the x coordinates have been switched. 5 has become here the y coordinate whereas this x coordinate has become the y coordinates in C bar. So we conclude that the values of x and y coordinates will be switched when the reflection is done over y is equals to x. Now let's uh, try reflection over y is equals to negative x. This line of reflection, this red diagonal line is uh, showing y is equals to negative x. So let's reflect this triangle. A is 2 units away. Now count 2 units over here. This will be A bar. B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 units over here. C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units away. So let's join these points to get the reflection of ABC. Here you go. This red triangle is the reflection of triangle ABC over y is equals to negative x. Well, if we compare the coordinates of these two triangles, we notice that x and y values have been switched and negated. 5 has become negative 5 here, 1 has become negative 1, 3 has become negative 3 and 4 has become negative 4 and the values have also been switched. So whenever we do reflection over y is equals to negative x, x and y values will be switched and negated. So by doing all this, we are clear about the reflection rules. Please have a look. Now an assignment for you. This assignment is from the supplemental material for mathematics grade 8, geometrical transformations. Page numbers have been given and you are supposed to do question 1, 2, 9 and 10. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.